All right, so tomorrow Global is getting the Galfer Fast. It was sort of a slightly delayed April Fool's joke. And is it a banner worth summoning for? Well, everyone is gonna have their own opinion, no matter what, no matter how terrible a character. <laughs> People are gonna say, well, I think I'm summoning, because I like collecting. In any case, I mean, not like Guffer is that terrible, I'm just making an example. Uh, I think no, I think Guffer isn't good enough. Like, genuinely, he, he just isn't good enough. He is not very, like, <laughs> he's not very, uh... I, I wanna say expensive, as in he's not that large in the grand scope of things. But I think that's just a bad way of saying what, what I want to say. He just doesn't do enough for enough team setups. So, at the moment, I will say, Sins is potentially the best PvP team in the game. I don't even want to say that for sure, to be honest, but potentially it is. Because this combo of characters, I guess if I go in PvP, I, I don't even know if I have that team setup right now because uh, of the new PvP rule. But that team setup has the most CC in the game. And that means something. Especially because the team has to go first. Well, you're getting a half scene setup right here. If I go in here, you will see that a ton of people are rocking sins. But I'm gonna be honest, right? The reset just happened, so you know, that, that's not very reliable. Though. I am not very sure if it is even better than just using Gelda. I think Gelda is actually just better. And this is assuming that you are gonna go first, because if you don't go first with Galfer, he's pretty ass. Case in point, he's pretty ass. And that's just PvP, right? What about PvE? Where are you running Galfer? I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Like, where are you gonna run Galfer? Because, okay. The Demon King fight, right? Let, let's go in here. Let's go in here. So I actually tried him yesterday. I was gonna make, make a video on him. I guess I'll post later. So this is my Demon King fight setup. First team, this one turns the first phase. This team is my second phase team. Except I usually run Halloween Gaffer, right? Or the Hall Halloween Gaffer is. And I just swapped Halloween Gaffer for this Gaffer. Is it any better? Not really. Halloween Gaffer was providing me attack related stats first, or before, and now I'm just getting 15% basic stats. And like the rank up that Gaffer gives himself is cool and all, but like it didn't change much. I thought maybe the fact that he gives himself a level 2 card in the first turn if you do the cards properly would be relevant, but it's not really. So I would say it's cool to run him on this fight here. Is any better than running a character that I already had, that I wouldn't have to spend any more extra gems for? Eh, debatable, but kind of worked. So I'll give him that. All right, demonic beasts. All isn't it like all demonic beasts are anti um, anti rank up? Like I I did the Gaffer versus demonic beast fight, and I didn't really mention for the. I think Bird isn't, but I think I didn't mention for dogs because I was like, that's not going to be relevant. It became relevant. I'm pretty sure that's why I lost because of rank ups. And I lost on Snake with Gelford because of rank ups. Because rank ups destroy your chances by raising the stats of the freaking boss. I don't know if the squirrel has it. I haven't tried this week yet. I don't know if the squirrel has it. Um, even if he does it, it doesn't matter. Oh, he does. I think it's this, no? No, it's not. It's not. It's the, it's the same, same same symbol, but... Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter, because it, it, he doesn't even allow Gaffer to be in here because of the DOT stuff. So, the Monic Beast is a X, right? Hero Arena, I tried. It's whatever. It, it's whatever. I, I, you, you can use him for the 20% stats. That's pretty much it. Uh, for points. Is Gaffer good for points? Not really. I mean, 15% basic stats? Look, this is, by the way, Hawk is coming <laughs> with the next update. Look at the characters that are used for points. That's so... <laughs> 15 is joke number, dude. But the, uh, let's say it's a 4, right? Let's say it's a 4, like, like Guild Boss. 20? 
20 is okay, but you have characters that give 30 at this day and age, right? So it's like, I don't, Galfrey doesn't move the needle there either. What is Galfrey doing? He's gonna be good in PvP for like a month. A month? No. A little bit more than a month, because uh, I would say Anniversary is make or break for this character. If Anniversary is a replacement for Bon, then Gaffer remains in meta. But if Anniversary has nothing to do with Sins, I think Sins are gonna make a, a bit of a fall off. Fallout? Whatever. Gaffer being restricted to only Sins is horrible. Terrible character design. I thought we had moved on from that. Because ever since Bon, you know, with the the character restrictions, I thought we had moved on and made it so it's so it's not just one category of characters, right? Bon was only sins, and they were like, okay, guys, we realized you guys didn't like that, so we're gonna include humans and fairies, whatever. Fairies, humans are what matters, right? And then, I mean, you, you can look at the list of characters that people have a problem with, or maybe I have a problem with, but a lot of people do. Characters that are extremely restricted to one category aren't gonna survive long, because categories don't just get updated all the time. But hey, if humans don't get updated all the time, sometimes sins do, so Bond gets there. But if a, if a human team gets updated sometime, like Arthur became a release for humans, then Bond moves up as well. Like, th that's why having multiple categories work for the character is really great. That's a problem Arthur is having right now, being, you know, restrict restricted to only one category kind of sucks for him. But here's the thing, Arthur kind of made sense. If you know about Chaos Arthur, you're like, okay, like, humans, right? And he's a human, like, what, what other category is he on? Like, he's not a sin. What else is he on? He's not unknown. I mean, they could have made him unknown if they really wanted to. If they really wanted to stretch, they could have, but whatever. So, humans. Kind of sucks for him, though, because it's a single category thing, and he's having he's, he's facing the consequences already for being a single category character. Uh, Gaffer did not have to be this this way. Okay, I was going to say Asker, Asker, poor Asker, you know, his whole restriction. By the way, the tax on Asker still pisses me off. Why does it start from the left? Every character text is centered. Like this, you know what I mean? Like when you create a document and you can like put it, whatever. Yaffer could have been unknown plus sin. And I don't think he would have been broken. I think he would have just been very good for the character because he would have been actually able to run with more than just one team. But as it stands, if you run him without the, you know, the part of his passive where it's like three different races, he kind of sucks balls. <laughs> And even when you do run him with that, he's just, he's just pretty decent. He's not festival worthy, I don't think. For what he does, this could have been an LR of the previous guffers that we already had, or just a random banner. I'm telling you this because Galda is better than Guffer. If Galda <laughs> is a random banner, and she's stronger than Galfer, two different types of characters, mind you, sure, but... Doesn't disprove my point. <laughs> She's still better. <laughs> so, I don't know. Evan, th this character seems shoved in. He is shoved in. This should this banner should have not been a festival. This should have been like a catastrophe or something. By the way, it seems like catastrophes are coming up soon. There seems to be like a not a leak, but some hints on the story or something that uh, catastrophes might be the next banner with like that new character. Just want to point that out. Maybe that should have been this banner. And listen, guys, I am the biggest original character hater there is. Ragnarok, Catastrophe, you name it. Still think would have been a better choice than this Galfrey because he just really just seems shoved in. It seems rushed. The passive is stupid. Like, the, he's not a festival. He's not a festival worthy. They didn't even talk about the banner. The banner sucks. The, ba <laughs> the only, like, actually really good thing in here is that Hell is back, finally. So if you didn't have Hell, I mean, it's a good pickup, but, like... Uh, I haven't tried Miles Relic yet, and my assumption is that it's not going to make that big of a difference. But if if anniversaries are goddess character, ooh, <laughs> you know, 
is if anniversary is Liz for some reason, it's like way better than the other Liz that we already have, which I mean, they could do it. It, it would be stupid of them to do it, but they, they, they could. Wow, that song really just ends very abruptly, huh? Okay. Uh, the rest of the banner just sucks balls. <sighs> yeah. It just sucks balls. That there's no um, LR Liz. Well, LR Liz in hell. You, that's what you got. So that's Gaffer. I think saving for anniversary or the next, uh, the next collab is way better. That honestly, okay. I think that makes this this like whole celebration better. No joke. Because if this was like a random catastrophe, or uh, Ragnarok, whatever banner we wouldn't be getting the gems that we got from the celebration so with the celebration you're going to be getting four gaffer multis three from login and one from those missions a ton of gems i think this is 200 total i don't remember and okay elizabeth and they gave a ton of stuff on the mayo as well like they're giving a this this would have happened anyway so let's not count this but uh maybe i can find it they gave 35 gems here, but this is not what I'm looking for. They just gave like 100 gems or something. Yeah, 100 gems because they were like, I mean, they, they gave an excuse. They were like, oh, we got 5 million registrations on our forum or something. They've never given gems for like registrations on the forum, I'm pretty sure. So they're just giving this because it's a festival. They know people are going to be pissed. So they <laughs> they are like saving their ass before beforehand, right? Bottom line is, we wouldn't be getting the amount of gems that we're getting at the celebration if it was some random, like, banner, right? So, if you do get Gaffer in those four free multis, this is a big W, right? You don't need dupes for him because, I mean, yeah, you'd want dupes for him to go first, right? So you get more CC, but, like, I think he's gonna be over... I genuinely think he's gonna be overshadowed by the Anniversary Festival coming up unless very like it's very specifically it's a sin it's like a new Ascanor right if it's like a new Ascanor which could be we haven't had a new Ascanor in like a, ages right unless it's a new Ascanor I wanted to go to sins that takes place of Bon or a new Merlin or something I really hope anniversary is not Merlin <laughs> Anniversary, that's a... Uh, I don't even know who it's gonna be. There's no way it's gonna be Bond again, right? It was last anniversary. I think Asker has a good chance. Asker has not been a Yunin release since... Uh, I mean, we had a DLR, right? But I don't think that matters. Hasn't been a Yunin release since November of 2022. I think Asker has a good chance for being anniversary. If it is Asker, and he replaces Bond, and not Galfer, like... <laughs> That's assuming Galfer is better than, than Bond, by the way, which I don't think so. Galfer is not better than Bond. So, and I'm try I'm really trying to like defend this Galfer somehow, but I, I don't know. I think it's an easy skip. Four free multis on the banner. You have a chance of getting something out of it. So that's cool. Uh, let's go back here to the activities we're getting. So the. The squirrel boss is out. I, I guess I'll post a guide. I I did already put out my video of my first on the first day of me trying, and floors one and two are super easy. Okay, that's not the, not the whale. Like <laughs> say that, but like in comparison to other beasts that we had, dude, it's incomparable. Like. The rat is so... Squirrel, whatever, is so much easier than any other beast we've had when it comes to floor 1 and 2, maybe even 3, but... Floor 3 is super cringe. Super RNG-based. And, uh... I'll, I'll try to get the, the floor 3 guide out, but... Floor 3 is... Different, a different story. It's not as bad as, like, Snake was. For sure. But it's super RNG-based. The... The mechanics on this beast, the fact that you have to run, let me make sure I click the correct one. The fact that you have to run these two dog shits just tells you that the new character made for the beast 
is gonna do the the function of these two and then you can run like an actual good character instead of one of them so hopefully uh that will come out soon hopefully it won't be a holy relic like uh, freya was and it will be actually a character i mean if it is a holy relic from materials from the other beasts then it's a different story right but obviously they're gonna make it from the holy relic for this beast in any case other than the the new beast not much is coming out this update we got the holy relic for mile which uh, by this point there's probably people that there's definitely people that already have it so i, I definitely should check out but it doesn't it's okay like the relic is okay it, it gives him 20 percent more damage is it single target yeah every time a goddess ally uses a single target up to 60 and 10 percent more attack related stats up to 30 when they use an aoe it's like Cool, my L is going to be hitting a bit harder. Okay, a, quite a bit harder. Don't think it's enough. To, to make Goddess is actually viable. Don't think it's enough. If you are a Goddess lover, if you are a big Goddess, <laughs> goddess uh, enjoyer, I think that this Relic is going to be pretty nice for you. And you, uh, you're definitely going to be winning more matches than you were. But definitely not meta, I don't think. And this pile of shit, I didn't make a video on it. I don't think I will. This uh, Hawk and Oslo got a Holy Relic. It just increases allies HP by 15%. It's terrible. It's just terrible. <laughs> no other words, like LR Liz Relic is, you might as well just run LR Liz. If you're gonna run Hawk and Oslo in the back of your team, just run LR Liz. Why, why would you? Why would you run them? Okay, so there's a new card set, right? Coming with this update, and then you just get from like doing the activities like the final boss and the. Uh, I think it's just final boss. No, and the pick hawk picnic event. And this card set is pretty interesting. So if you have a fairy on your team, it doesn't have to be like full fairy team. You just have to have a fairy on your team. Increases ally attack by up to 5%. For each, for each debuff applied to enemies, up to six times. Is that correct? What? <laughs> Thirty percent attack. Okay. Uh, and also increases basic stats by up to two percent. I, I think it's just just two percent per fairy. The, the way it's written is so bad. Okay, now of course it's not as good as I'm, I'm reading. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's definitely not it's not that good. Yeah, it's it's decent. It's five percent. That's the cap. Five percent attack, and for each debuff on enemies, increases basic stats by two percent up to six times. So twelve percent basic stats, five percent attack. I think it's meant for the new demonic beast, and it leads me to believe that the character made for the demonic beast is a fairy might be we'll see like that ragnarok fairy that we haven't had a character for yet i think that could be the character meant for it so other than that not much else uh again like i said you get a free multi here there's two ur pendants right there there's these boxes can i not inspect them I guess you can, okay i can inspect this one which uh, there's a few you can get throughout the celebration, and they just give you, this This one gives you a random reward, and it can be gems, it can be like, you know, you guys can see on screen. This one, you select, show of the rewards, but I can't, why can't I show what's in it? I guess I, there, right, this is the selection box, and you can select two of them, I don't know how many boxes you can get, but yeah, you select two of the items. I mean, definitely not taking any of the one singular demonic beast material, but the costume upgrade materials are uh, a pretty nice pick here, I think. There's this thing right here where you can buy those uh, permanent and, you know, timed bonuses. You guys know what I'm talking about. There's only two tiers. I think... Do they add more on part shoes? I think they do. There's uh, this event where you, you make Hawk go chomp, and you that's where you get one of the... The card pieces uh, all the mini events there's one of oh, the ones i hate the least because you don't have to do much 
and it's very simple. If you just upgrade one of each, he gets the the 100 guaranteed. All right, just to end it off, the snake is now farmable. So if you want, you can just get as many of the materials as you want. I mean, when was the last time they even released a relic? I mean, there was the Merlin relic. I guess Monspeed. Like the, they don't release as many relics as they used to be. So being able to farm the beast isn't as big of a deal as it used to. But now they nerfed the amount of damage it does to you by 10%. So if you just want to farm it, it's cool, I guess, if you have the team for it. But that's about it.